Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, what's up? I want everybody to join me. So I was recording on my phone, and then uh, my phone got overheated because it's kind of warm here. I was to see if I could uh, switch it up a little bit so you guys could see uh, the routine a little bit, what I'm doing. Maybe a little bit difficult to uh, to position uh, the camera. What's up, everybody? What's going on, Wolfpack? What's up? What's up? I'm just trying to see where I could uh, position this thing so you guys could see me. Uh, if not, we're just going to crush burpees, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's we're going to crush burpees then. That, that's the way it's going to be. I was, um, I'm on 20 right now. I'm going to back it up a little bit too so you guys can see. We're doing the hand release today. Working our way down from the pyramid. If you guys are doing the April challenge, you guys know that. We're hitting hand release. Jump squat, jump squat. And I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to have to switch the camera up every time so you guys can see it. Hell yeah. You guys have to bear with me. I'm just going to have to be doing this stuff. Eighteen now. Working it. 18 jump squats. Working it, guys. Working it. Pull up. We're working our way down. 
working our way down. On 17. What's up, guys? Salute. Much love, guys. Much love. That's how we're doing it. We're hitting everything today. Legs, lungs, pull-ups, chest, hand release. Outstanding. Let's get it. Sixteen down. Sixteen down. Going on fifteen. Huh. <sighs> 
Hell yeah, we're getting some for for sure. We're getting some. We're on 15. Fifteen done. Thanks, guys. Thank you for the support. Much love. Let's get it. This one sucks. We'll keep going. Fourteen done. Glad everybody got theirs today. I'm getting mine. Thank you guys for the support as always. This is a great routine. Glad to share with you and glad for you, for you guys to come and train with me. I always appreciate that. You guys can see me a little bit.
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not drop squats. We're on, uh, we're on 11. If you guys did this routine, give me a thumbs up. This is this is an old school routine, old school. I used to do this with my Marines a long time ago, long time ago when I was the platoon sergeant. All my guys were fit, though. They were lean, all could run, pull-ups, push-ups, eight-count bodybuilders, well, like a well-oiled machine, lean and mean. Let's get it. Starting ten. I wonder if you guys could see me like this when I do my hand release. No. Nope. <sighs> Ten gone. Salute to the UK too. Nine done, going on eight.
I'm on my way down. This was uh, 20 down to up to up to 20 back down of uh, hand release push-ups and jump squats and five pull-ups in between. Big pyramid up to 20 and back down. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, round six. On five. Am I natty? Yeah, I'm natty, brother. I don't even lift weight. I don't do anything. But I appreciate the compliment. But yeah, if you follow my channel, I'm 100% natty. I don't take anything. Those five pull-ups grow on you, though. They grow on you, those five pull-ups. Let's get it. Almost done. Going on four.
almost done. I do I do work abs. I do a, a lot of flutter kicks, sit ups, and planks. Last set of pull-ups. Try to clean it up a little bit. Pull-ups were looking uh, a little sad those last couple of sets. So slow down a little bit and do it right. Done, guys. We're done. Uh. You, you can sit and talk a little bit, real quick. What's up? Salute to everybody. Catch my breath real quick. Um, so my my original plan, I I was trying to uh, oh well, I was I was recording on my phone, but guys, I even I even bought a a tripod because everybody's like, hey Wolf, you should get a tripod. So I listened. So I got this thing and I set it up um outside, um outside like on my patio, but it's warm today in uh in California. It's like 80 something degrees today. And the battery, the battery died on my phone. It died. So I got, I got up, uh, so this whole workout probably all together, it took me like, four, like 47 minutes. Uh, excuse me. It took me about 47 minutes to complete uh, this whole uh, cycle. Uh, those hand release push-ups, you know, I haven't done them in a while, and, you know, it's, it's just a different stimulus. So it's, it's just a, another way to train, you know. It's just being smart. Oh, man, salute to the Cypress Islands. That's what's up. Let me, let me, let me come this way real quick. There you go. That's better. A little bit better. Wearing wearing the wearing the Marine Corps green today. Get some OG green. But yeah, hey, we're 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 putting in work today. Uh, from 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 that routine. It's it's difficult, you know. It's difficult to uh, keep a good tempo. What's up? Well, we did it though. We got a good time and we uh, we kept it clean. I appreciate it. Hit the th hit the, hit the thumbs up also if you guys can. For me, I appreciate it. If you hit that thumbs up, it helps me uh, grow the channel. If you can, and 
you know, we just continue to do that. I already got people asking me about uh, the, the, the May challenge. And like, did I, I did actually run today. Uh, I ran in the morning. A lot of times this is my second routine of the day because I, I do a uh, separate training uh, in the military. You know, I, I got, I got my Marines. I, we train together as well. And then um, like a, a lot of days, this is like, no, this is routine number two coming out. And, and it's just an uphill battle. I, I, tra I train six days a week and then I'm, I'll do a day of active recovery, whether it be a slow pace run or maybe a very light workout, but you have to also take recovery into consideration if you want to progress. My, what's my height? I'm 5'11". 5'11". That's good, guys. You, you should be running almost every day. That's, that's, also, that's a huge measure of physical fitness is running. You have to be able to run or... Oh, so I'm dehydrated as hell. But you have to be able to run. Um, it's, it's a huge component of physical fitness. Yeah, old, old school. Yeah, I mean, I grew up when I when I was a a young Marine. Uh, running was, you know, well, running still huge in the Marine Corps, but we we ran a lot. We ran a lot. We all we were always running, and we were lean. We we're lean as hell too. We, you know, we're just nothing excess, no excess fat, and also um, no excess muscle. We were we were athletic and lean that we could move. So you could move quick. You're strong, but you're not carrying um, unnecessary bulk. And watch yourself so you don't get burnt out. Also, when you guys are doing your training, your training should be uh, sustainable. You guys should check out um, the podcast that I did yesterday with uh, orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Chris Raynor. Um, you could look him up on Instagram, Stable Knees. Uh, knees ends with a Z. So Stable Knees, N-K-N-E-E-Z. -N -E -E I appreciate it. Thank you guys for the kind words. All you guys saying that, I'm um, the man and stuff like that. I, I really appreciate it, but hey, guys, honestly, I'm just a regular, I'm just a regular dude, like like anybody else. And I, I train and I hurt, and I just try to um, share all the stuff that I can. And you know, we're, we're all we're all equal. We're all we're all good people that we're trying to get better and do good. That's it. Name of the podcast is you go to Stable Knees on Instagram. Knees with, ends with a Z. Hey, shout out to the Bronx. Yeah, I know. I see a lot of people saying me and uh, David Goggins need to train together. I would love, I would love to train with him. It's gonna happen one day. It's just gonna, it'll, it'll happen. And thank you for ordering the shirt. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. I appreciate the support. Semper Fi. Full day of eating. So I I mentioned it on my last podcast. Starting May, I want I'm gonna do an experiment and I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go vegetarian. Uh, I I think I'm trying to like you know four to four to eight weeks, six to eight weeks, six to eight weeks. Um, I'm gonna try vegetarian. I just want to see how my body will uh react to it um there's nothing uh i i, I don't think it's gonna be anything challenging I, I barely eat uh meat at this point i mean i do i do eat i do eat seafood fish um i like that stuff salmon um and i eat uh turkey and turkey and chicken breast very maybe like three times a week uh i don't think it's going to be a big change cutting out um all meat but I just want to see how I feel. I'm just interested, you know. You never know if something is going to work or not until you fully commit to it and you 
you approach it with a with the you know with the critical eye and understand and try it out and I hope it hope it'll work. Um, if it doesn't, then you know it's not the, it's not the end of the world. It's only like a couple of weeks. So we'll see. I, I don't I don't know if um so people say like your testosterone will drop and I don't know what like if that that comes from a credible source because I haven't seen that uh your vegetarian vegetarians have low testosterone levels I I don't think that's a credible source um I might be wrong but you know what it it ain't gonna do any harm doing it for you know six to eight weeks it's not that big of a deal in the in the in the, in the bigger picture of, of life yeah I mean vegan my work uh, I was a pescatarian I was a pescatarian when I lived in um, Japan I ate nothing but uh, seafood there. I, I was stationed in uh, Okinawa, Japan, for for two years, and they had very good uh, seafood. Uh, and I just left off pretty much like tuna mackerel, um, salmon, trout, like shrimp, crab. I felt great. Yeah, our body, our body will tell us how we feel. You know, and that's really the best gauge. You know what what works for one person might not work for another but what one thing that we can agree on guys is we got to train and we got to fucking train hard and we got to put in those high reps high reps good form and keep keep chipping away that that's the thing that you know is, is non-negotiable right that's it i did go to paris island The McMap, maybe, maybe. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, whenever my son comes down, I love to train with him. He's uh, he's gonna be ten years old and uh, in June. And you know, sp spend as much time as I can with him, and we train together. He loves training. may challenge no there's not going to be a may challenge uh but maybe uh probably july i think so well um oh i don't i don't need junk food as it is Um, I would love to do a collab with Scott again, but he lives in New York and I live in California. So if we get together again, the reason why me and Scott, hey, hey shout out to Scott Bernhardt. Outstanding, outstanding gentleman. He's actually a vegan, oh, by the way. Scott Bernhardt is a vegan and he looks outstanding. I don't drink alcohol. So that's what I'm saying. I have no, I don't think I'll have problems with, uh, you know, testosterone, if you guys know, alcohol actually kills your testosterone. Um, I don't I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't eat um, junk food, everything like that. I'm 30, I'm 36 years old. Um, you guys know I was at how old are you? Wolf, I'm 36. Yeah, I know. Thank you. I look young for 36. Um, I don't I'm five, I'm five eleven. 186 pounds right now. Probably 183 after this workout because I sweated um, everything. Yeah, man, you gotta you gotta love uh you gotta love the calisthenics, man. That's the that is the key, key to life. It's longevity. Keep, keep putting in the work, guys. That's the best thing you could do. Um, you have to stay consistent in your routines, and everything will uh, 
become easier in general. Everything, um, everything in your life will just be just a little bit better because you're disciplined. You're, you're coming in, putting in the work, and you're holding yourself accountable, and you're going to feel accomplished. Even if you do a small workout, anything like that, it's, it's still an accomplishment. Yeah, that's right. Train those boys at the firehouse. Hell yeah. Most burpees I've done in one day was 1,600. It wasn't, it was uh, in two sessions. Oh, uh, you don't got to apologize. I don't get, I don't get upset. I prefer running over uh, cycling. Yeah, I, I like running a lot, I, and it's harder to be honest. Running, running is the most uh, hardest type of uh, cardio you can do. It really is. I'm talking about like, and it burns the most calories, and it builds the best engine. That's why r running sucks. You know, you you have to you have to exert a lot of energy to run. Yeah, running is the hardest. I mean, there's there. There's no, there's no doubt about it. There's no question about it. Running sucks. It's uncomfortable, but it works. That's why it sucks. Hey, salute to Trinidad. Salute, brother. Thank you, guys. Yeah, obstacle course is coming soon. I know I mentioned it. I just have to uh, get out to the area and set up a... Uh, Set, set up how I'm going to film it, but I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to run the Marine Corps obstacle course for everybody. No, I'm, I'm not a Navy SEAL. I'm a U.S. Marine. I mean, I don't think running is, uh, running is bad for the knees. Running with uh, not proper form or running with bad running shoes, um, that's probably bad for your knees as well. So you, you have to have the right shoes. I'm a, I'm a firm believer of shoes with good support. I don't like minimal shoes. I know there, there's like that minimal uh, craze where, but I like shoes with decent amount of support. Not too much, but you should have some cushioning. And you gotta be able to run with proper form, on, run, uh, land on your forefoot, push off, you know, keep, keep your feet underneath you. Um, I'm running in the Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo 2. That's the name of the shoe. <sighs> All right, guys. I'm going to I'm going to leave it off with this, guys. Um, we we hit this routine today. Um we started on going um, on the way down, so we, we worked our way down from 20. And if you haven't, you got to try this routine. It's it's uh, one up to 20, uh, back down to one. Uh, hand release push-ups and jump squats, and you're going to do five pull-ups in between each set. It grows on you. It's a great routine, and you're going to definitely be feeling it. So till next time, guys, much love and respect. Stay safe, stay strong. Make sure you guys please pass this channel on, pass it on to others, and make others better around you. I got to go, guys. Much love. Peace. Wolf out.